Hey happy homemakers, today's video is a fall clean and decorate with me. I'm going to be pulling out my fall decor from storage plus adding a few new pieces that I purchased this year and then doing some light cleaning to make my home cozy and festive for my family and I hope this video inspires you to do the same. So first I like to pull all of my fall decor together just so I can see what I'm going to be working with. If there's anything you're wondering where it is and I haven't mentioned it in this video, I did film two fall haul videos which I will link down below. So if you're curious about anything, just head over there. The first area I'm going to decorate is my table and this every year just for some reason is my most favorite area to decorate i love entertaining i love gathering together and just making my table attractive to guests is something i love to do um but i never really go over the top i i have a budget and also i have children so i'm just going to be decorating and most of the items that i've used um i either already had or i purchased from the dollar tree so first i just laid down a tray that i got a while ago at target and then put out a fall candle that i got from home last year and a small ceramic pumpkin that I just got at the Dollar Tree and then I want some sort of bouquet if I do end up getting fresh flowers I'll just replace it but then when they die I like to still have something pretty and colorful on my table so I'm not opposed to having some fake floral arrangements out I think it still makes the table look really pretty my color scheme throughout this video is going to be a lot of white but I want to make it fun for my children so I do add a little bit of orange and splashes of yellow to make Make it really happy. I feel like fall is a dark season and just adding some yellow to your space can just really brighten it up and make the mood a little bit lighter. Anyway, so I'm just gonna play around with the white berries and leaves until it looks just right. I also like to decorate in three, so that's why I have three things of varying heights, the little pumpkin, a nice fall candle, and then the tallest thing is the face. Next, I'm gonna set the table and I just pull out my plain white plates. I like using white because I feel like it's a great blank canvas no matter the season and something that you'll never get tired of. And then just decorate with color by using some beautiful gold chargers like these and adding more color in the centerpiece. These gold chargers I got years ago from Michaels. They were very inexpensive and I think that they really make the table setting feel like a bountiful harvest, which is kind of the idea I was going for. Um, I love setting the table, so on top of the charger I'm just going to put my everyday white dinner plate and then also some natural linen napkins on the top of that. And I'm just going to fold it in a way that you won't see the sides because it is going on the center of the plate, so I just fold it in half twice lengthwise and and then fold the top down and I think it looks really nice that way. On top of it I just put a white doily plate that I have and then every fall I pull out my really pretty white pumpkin plates that I got at Target a few years ago. And honestly you could do anything on that top plate. You could add like a really beautiful um, decorative leaf plate, uh, like a colored one even, and I think it would look just so pretty. Now, if any of you are new to my channel, I wanted to say hello and welcome. My name is Justine, and on my channel, I'm all about joyful motherhood, natural living, and an orderly and peaceful home, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So please hit that red subscribe button down below. I love encouraging women to invest in their um, husbands, children, and homes, and decorating is a way that I love to do that and share ideas with you all. Next, it's time for the stemware, and of course, I like to make it fancy with these goblets I got from Ikea. And then, any appetizers or snacks in case somebody is really hungry when they come over for dinner, I like to set down this leaf plate, and I'm just gonna fill it with um, some candied walnuts this time. There's nothing that makes a guest feel more welcomed, like you're expecting them, than to have a name card at each place setting on the table. And these really beautiful place cards were hand painted by my sister Elizabeth and I was really excited because they went along with my table setting perfectly. She's a very talented artist who has an Etsy shop which I will link down below. These are a digital download that you can just print out for yourself in your own home and then you can either cut them out so that they fold in half and stand up on their own or cut them out completely and just slip them into a place card holder which is what I'm going to be doing and I think they look so beautiful 
beautiful that way. These will be $5 over on her Etsy shop for anyone who's wanting to decorate their table for Thanksgiving. I got these circle place card holders from Pottery Barn years ago and I think they look so gorgeous. I went to a fall de decorating class actually um, that I've always just remembered and love using the ideas that I learned there in all of my decorating that I do in my videos. If you didn't want a seating to be arranged, it would still be really beautiful to just put one of these thankful signs into the place card holders or there are three other designs you could choose from or mix and match would be a really fun idea as well. You can get them individually Individually, or you can get the bundle of all five for $15 so I think they're really beautiful she did a great job and I will have them linked down below for anyone who wants to add them to their own Thanksgiving table setting this year The next area I like to switch up for the seasons is my little dish soap, hand soap stand um, by my sink. And I felt like the pink color didn't match so I just switched it out for a white cake plate and a Mrs. Meyers acorn scented hand soap, my clear dish soap bottle, and then a little pumpkin. The next area I'm gonna decorate is my coffee bar, which is another one of my favorite places to make festive for the season. I'm all about coffee and tea, especially in the fall and winter. It's just a great way to get all cozy and in the mood for the season. So I'm just gonna first clear off everything that's back there and then use my Method all-purpose spray, which is the lime and sea salt scent, which is also great if you have pets because it deodorizes everything and also leaves it smelling really, really good good. After I've cleaned that, I'm just going to put the basket back because it's going to be staying there and then I'm just going to switch out the tees um, so that it looks a little bit more like the color scheme I want to do. So again, with the whites and the yellows and I think it looks so pretty. Next, I just added this jar that I had over on the other side of the kitchen. I got it at Home Goods a few years ago and I just put in some fall decor utensils. They say blessed, grateful, and thankful, I think, on the ends of these spoons and it's they're so cute. And then I just added our Nespresso pods, pumpkin spice coffee syrup, of course, from Target, and then also some fall sprinkles to make it a little bit extra fancy. And then I just kept playing around with everything until it looked the way I wanted. I had these pumpkin hand towels in storage that I pulled out, and then I have another one of the Dollar Tree pumpkins that are so cute. The Dollar Tree had a lot of great stuff for fall, so I always recommend people look there first. And then I also placed a cute fall mug under the espresso machine and also my French press because I'm using that a lot more these days. Sometimes I make cold brew but now I'm going to be doing a lot of hot coffee so I like to keep that there. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring out my storage bins to the living room and go through the stuff in there. And Marcus and Coco were with Daddy while I decorated the table, which was good because, you know, there are a lot of breakable stuff. They couldn't really help me with that, but I really wanted to incorporate them in my fall decor um, because they have so much fun with it too. I just got this really beautiful yellow throw from Target that I'm gonna replace with um, the blue one that's on our love seat at the moment. And like I said earlier, I'm really into having a lot of white and yellow to make it really cozy but happy still. And I think this throw really brightened up the living room. Next, I'm just gonna add this pumpkin pillow, but it's white, so it just subtly brings in some fault to the area. And Marky told me it looked really great. <laughs> And I'm really sorry about this footage, but my other camera died for a little bit and so it's really dark. But basically I was showing you guys that my pillows that were on the sofa were falling, they were literally disintegrating. So 
I, I wanted to save them, but the fabric was just falling apart, so they just had to go in the garbage. But I, it's a good thing I purchased these white pillows um, a little while ago from Hobby Lobby, and then I just decorated with a little yellow grateful pillow, which I think is great because it's not only fall, but also for Thanksgiving as well. Next, I'm just going to take, again, my Method All-Purpose Spray and just wipe all the dust off of my desk, which gets really dusty, actually, um, using a microfiber cloth. And then I'm just going to um, rearrange everything, make it look really nice. And the only thing I'm going to do to bring in some fall here is to add another little pumpkin. And Chloe has this one. Um, she, it's so sweet to have them helping me. I really love it. But this pumpkin is also from the Dollar Tree, and I think it just adds a really cute little touch to to the desk. Next, I'm just gonna quickly vacuum the rug because we have to do this every single day. It gets so dirty. In my entryway, I just want to wipe down the console and decorate that as well. Um, this place also collects a lot of dust. So first we're just gonna completely empty everything from the shelf and on top, and then go in with the same all-purpose spray. I should have used the Method Wood Cleaner because I really love that stuff, but I completely forgot about it. Next comes time to decorate it and these little fall wreaths are from Target and the kids thought they were crowns which was so cute so I had to show you guys what they were doing with them. So the next thing we're going to decorate with is some leaf garlands that I got also from the dollar store. The dollar store is becoming a theme on my channel. We are all just obsessed with it right now. Every day Marcus and Coco ask if we can go there. Anyways, I had a couple from a few years back and then I purchased a few more because I think these add a really lovely festive touch and if the kids play with them and ruin them, it's no big deal because they costed a dollar. After that, I'm just going to play around with the decor on top until it looks the way I like it. I pulled these candlesticks out that I thrifted several years ago. I think they look so pretty and I really like, like I said, the gold theme that's kind of throughout the house. I added a candle in front of my mirror but, and then I also put a garland of leaves over the top of the mirror as well. And the last thing we did was add a little pumpkin and then a little gold gather sign at the bottom. And I love how the entryway turned out. The next place I'm gonna decorate is the coffee table. We're gonna put a leaf, one of the leaf wreaths. It's supposed to be a wreath, but I think it's perfect for a little candle to sit on top. So I put a white pumpkin candle um, on top of the book and then a little white pumpkin from the Dollar Tree beside it. And I actually switched out that pumpkin to this little yellow pumpkin um, that's from Target. And I love the way the living room turned out too. I think it looks so cozy and really beautiful. By the way, the candle that I ended up putting on my console table was the one on my dining table. It's just one from Sand and Fog um, from Home Goods. I always end up doing this and redecorating as I go. I like to keep my holiday bin handy so that any of the everyday decor that's not going to be on display is just tucked away in there until the season changes again. The last space I'm going to decorate and the one that Marcus and Coco are really excited for is their bedroom. I love doing this for them because they really appreciate it. It makes it so fun for them. And I think that they feel loved when I think of their space as some place that we need to decorate as well. And they really love helping me. Um, Marcus and Coco, like before I filmed this video, they've been 
bringing the little pumpkins throughout the house and just placing them where they think they'll look good so they really had fun doing this with me i took the other wreath that i got from the target dollar spot and um, made it a little bit smaller and hooked it on their little kitchen and then i also put a few pumpkins on top of their kitchen and then on this little space above their dresser i'm just going to add a couple more of the dollar store garlands um, and i thought that these made it a really festive touch and then i also decorated it with a couple of pumpkins the last thing I'm gonna put up in their room is this garland that we made last year together. It was so much fun. So I will have the fall decorating video where that DIY is linked in the description box below. And if I don't, please remind me because sometimes I do forget after I edit these videos. So anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and it put you in a mood for fall. Um, I love fall. I think it's my most favorite season of all. And I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching this video, it probably is yours as well. Anyways, the house is just so peaceful and cozy, exactly the way I like it. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy to have made it a really festive and special place for my family. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.